Hey, welcome to Selling Past Your Expiration Date, being thrift year 50. I'm your one host, Jay. I'm Peg. Hi, gang. Happy Easter. Got my bunny stuff going on here. Yep, yep. <laughs> well, we won't see each other next Sunday, so, you know, we celebrate a little bit today. But I have to, <laughs> I have to give you a weather update here. Oh, hold on. I was not ready with the weather update. This has been... Uh, hold, please. Okay. Oh, where's other oh, 30 or 50 pegs weather update. There we go. All right. About three days ago, starting in the middle of the night, we had 60 mile an hour winds. I mean, <laughs> I thought it was like a tornado. <laughs> it was Jay, I, honey. It was so bad. And when we woke up, I kept saying, please, no trees go down. Please, no trees. Down. We, just, you know, we had a ton come down at wintertime. Luckily, only one came down back by the barn and missed hitting the barn. Oh, whew. Just missed hitting the barn. So that was good. Then yesterday is gorgeous, 66 degrees in full sunshine. This afternoon, as dad and I are sitting in the kitchen, looking out the window on the deck, it's hailing. <laughs> so That's clean winds, weather, ladies and gentlemen. Winds, warm, hail. And Monday and Tuesday, on Tuesday, we're back in the 60s, you know, so it's, it's that time of year. But a knock on wood, ooh, wherever it is, we have had one gorgeous month of March. I mean, you guys, I don't, can't remember the last time we didn't have snow in the month of March. And it's almost over and the forecast looks good. So I, I think we're going to get through a whole month without seeing any snow. Now, that's not to say it can't snow in April. Because my wedding anniversary is April 8th. And when Dad and I got married, it rained in the morning. But by evening, it was four inches of snow on the ground. And that was April 8th. So, you know, it can't come in April. In fact, it can come in May. Yeah, <laughs> that's such a good one. <laughs> this, is a t this is Stacy's T-shirt. So yeah, I, and that's uh, it's almost true. It is almost true, you guys. It's just crazy, just insane. Uh, Big Daddy's doing pretty good. He's he's had kind of a rough spell in the morning. I don't know. He he sleeps okay at night, and then he gets up in the morning. And as soon as he sits up or starts walking, he gets this excruciating pain through his uh, shoulder area, and it almost that uh, makes him nauseated and. Um, so he lays down again and, and kind of rests, and then it starts to dissipate and goes away. And by you know an hour or two later, he's just fine for the rest of the day. So we go. His, his checkup is this coming Thursday with the doc. So you know we'll see if she can tell us any more of why that is happening. But it is he's so uncomfortable. I feel bad for Dad because it's you know I can see he's in a really really big pain. Is he taking so, any pain meds? Uh, kind of. Okay, kind of, then he doesn't get no sympathy. I know, I know. Listen, you guys don't have to tell me. <laughs> it's like me being like, oh, I can't breathe too well. Did you take inhaler? No, um, kind of. No, you got to take it. I know, like yeah, yesterday, because it was so gorgeous here yesterday, Dad and I you know, went out. We hit uh, uh, the Street Squirrel Flea Market and a couple other things. And, and uh, we ended up at a restaurant that we haven't been to in probably two years. It's called Twin Lakes. Thank you. Thanks, Deb. Twin Lakes Restaurant in the uh, Street Squirrel area. And it's been taken over by a new owner. And um, so when we go in, and it's really nice. It's, it's, it was always kind of a nautical thing. But we noticed that it's kind of more tiki-ish now. And, cool. uh, we, yeah, we looked at their menu. And we ended up drink, uh, drinking. Dad and I ordered a drink for two. And it was called the Twin Lakes Monster. And it was maybe something. <laughs> and it's in a fish bowl. And, Jason, it was delicious. All kinds of rums. And they have Mai Tais and painkillers and... Uh, other ones saying now I bought oh, the I would love to see what they call a Mai Tai. Well, Jason, I, I should have read that. I should have what what goes into Mai Tai? Uh well it depends what version, but one, two, or three rums, or J, which is the almond syrup, yeah. fresh lime juice, a little bit of yes. orange curacao. And yes. uh, so. okay, fresh lime juice was there because I remember that. I said, Oh, they have fresh lime juice. But I bought this mug. I mean, it's nothing spectacular, but one of the drinks comes in the shark mug. Cute. Yeah. I mean, you know, their name's not on it or anything, but I said, well, just to, you know. Just because I, it's one of our spots that we like to go to. So if you're anybody in the Ohio area, Twin Lakes Tavern or restaurant, uh, right on Route, uh, what is that route over there? Not 303, 14, 43, 43. Did they have laparoscopic cert, uh, procedure? No, no, no. They cut his okay. neck oh, totally open, all mm -hmm. laid, it, laid it wide open, guys, and had to go in. So you know, not too fun. Hey, I got, I got some news. You know uh, where we have to update our item specifics? Yep. I started out at 137. I know you have thousands, <laughs> but I'm down to three. 
I'm down to three of the ones that uh, they said you had to do. And the reason I can't fix those three is I have uh, best offer sent out right now. Ah, gotcha. gotcha. So, yeah. So uh, because mine's all duplicated across foreign markets, the suggested ones are a ridiculous number of, if it ever opens up, 5,569. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not yeah. getting those anytime soon. But yeah. the ones they said, yeah, fix, I had like 57, and I got those out pretty quick. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, some of them are easy. I got three. The three that are left, I got to do some research because I don't know. I, I, I can't, <laughs> you know, I I don't know how to, you know, come up with these answers. So Dad and I are going to have to both work on those. It has to do with electrical stuff, and, you know, Mommy doesn't get into that too much. So <laughs> I feel better that it's got come down like it has. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's talk coral because yeah. you know it's one of those things we might we weren't sure what we we're gonna do this week, and mom's like, hey, let's talk coral. Now, coral is in a great uh matching piece to episode number four, way back, way back. in July of 2016. We did all about seashells. Now, if you've never seen this episode, go back and watch it. It's chock full of amazing information, but go back and laugh because. <laughs> StreamYard has made this so much more professional yeah. and awesome yeah. looking. And uh, back back then we had Google Hangouts and it was, you know, it it was what it was. So, yeah. I, In fact, I, mom went back to watch because I wanted to see what we had done. And uh, I watched uh, quite a bit of it. I mean, all the, all the part about the shells and a little bit of coral that we showed. And I said, oh, my God, because now we're on episode 143. It's yes. Oh, <laughs> It's a long time ago. Oh, yeah. So I did bring a bunch of my uh, coral over that episode, too. But yeah. now we're focused solely on coral because mm -hmm. I fully believe coral is that thing that everyone who, who isn't from uh, a coastal uh, state or who didn't vacation in a coastal state, I think coral is the thing that everyone just kind of doesn't even pay attention to if they're at an estate sale or a thrift store or a garage sale. I think I think most of you would just kind of look past it and never even think about picking it up, but right. it's crazy money and the oh, bigger yeah. the better. But absolutely here's the asterisk. Don't go book a vacation to the Great Barrier Reef and take right. a chisel and go break off a chunk. <laughs> I only want you to source the stuff that's old wow. and been sitting around someone's house for the last right. 50 years, please. Right. And on a footnote to that, Jace, um, mom was just reading up a little bit on the on the coral uh, on the reefs and uh there are 2 million species of coral, 2 million. <laughs> and the climate change is putting the corals in danger. Uh, that, that's, that's the sorry thing. Uh, one of our favorite snorkeling places in Hawaii was Hanama Bay. Just a beautiful bay area and calm and quiet. And you could really do a lot of nice uh, snorkeling there. The coral bleaching due to global warming has affected the coral reefs uh, badly. Uh, in 2014 and 15, 47% of the corals have suffered from coral bleaching uh, in, in, in Hanama Bay area. Close to 10% of the natural preserve have died already. Isn't that a shame? Yeah, that is. Now we are gonna talk about bleaching, but it's a different kind of bleaching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna show you, you know, why you can uh, bleach out some of your coral, but let's go through. Look, you know, I tried so hard. I spent a long time this morning trying to find a, an overall website to show you the kinds of corals by the common names, because going through them by their uh, uh, scientific names would be silly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I finally got two websites that were kind of there, but not really. But okay. So uh, staghorn coral, mm -hmm. pillar coral. Oops, let me get that back up there. Yeah. Pillar. Table corals, pretty bitching. You'll see these big pieces in uh, in, in like coastal mansions. Brain coral, which is quite common, which I have some to share. Actually, it's what's spinning back here, but I'll show it to you in a minute. Uh huh. Blue coral. You got any blue coral there? I do. Oh, I do not. See, mom's oh. got one up on me. Uh, great star coral, which, nope, I don't have that one. Yeah, we do. Uh, tube coral and mm -hmm. elk horn on this page. Yeah, we've got some elk horn. Okay, and then on this page, let me back it up here. I was cruising around through it earlier today. Yeah. So a little bit of some overlap, uh, but you can see it in its natural habitat. There's the lettuce coral down here. Uh, what else would you see? Uh, the thin leaf lettuce coral, you would tend to see that. And a lot of the these names, a lot of the coral 
belong in that group. You know what I mean, Jason? Like yep. you have the elk I'm about to show you a uh, boulder brain. Ooh, cool. And there's your brain coral again, because it looks like your brain. See? Mm -hmm. All right. So those are kind of some of the main things you, if you were to see coral uh, in a thrift store, in a antique shop, in a estate sale, these are the kind of things you would tend it to see. Now, if you do do your research and get to the the, the uh, scientific name, or Orbacilla annularis, then great, because it just helps you have more keywords. But for the most part, if you've got brain coral, call it brain coral. Yeah, most people go by that. Yep. All yeah. right, so so there's your there's your corals. All right, mom's going to show you what she has found first. And okay. All right. Well, here we'll we'll go through the blue. This is known as Blue Ridge Coral. Okay. This is a Look at you ridge. with the Blue Ridge, as I called it out by I didn't even know. Yeah, Blue Ridge Coral. <laughs> And, uh, you know, if I, I passed up a huge, gigantic piece back a long time ago, then I'm, you know, kicking myself for, you know, how you do, should have, could have, would have. Yep. Um, and this piece here would sell for approximately 30 to $35. If it was bigger, I probably would get more money out of this one. But, you know, it's the only piece of blue we have. So everything I'm showing you is belongs to me. <laughs> only, only, I will only sell pieces when I get other pieces exactly like it. You know, Jason, let that go. Yeah. All right, well, here, since we mentioned the brain coral, I'll bring up my piece here. We got this piece of brave brain coral in the Freeport, Bahamas. It's a pretty good size one, as you can see. And brain coral brings you some good money. Uh, if I was to put this up for sales, gang, this one would be around $100 because of the size. And, and it's in very, very nice condition. Very nice condition. Uh, Cletus wants to know, and hey, Cletus, what's happening, buddy? Hey, uh, is fish tank coral the same as a coral you're talking about? Yeah, but just in a much smaller, right, smaller degree. Okay, this is known as slipper coral. Very and, nice. Yeah, these, these you'll see um, occasionally, you guys. Now, this piece here we would probably sell for around twenty twenty five bucks. And when I when I pick up my corals, it, it varies in price, but you know I try to stay within five bucks. You know, or under sometimes 10, depending on the piece. Now, this one is known by a couple of different names, Jason. It can be called the mushroom, coral, or button. Okay, mushroom or button. This is the backside. So Angelique says it would be better to put the scientific name uh, instead of the the common name because of the length in the title. Now, I put the common name in the title. If you yeah. can't fit the scientific, put that in item specifics. Yeah, because as I was, you know, looking through eBay on there, everybody uses the common names pretty much. Yep. Yeah, and not not the real one. Uh, this particular piece gang around twenty five dollars. Okay. All right. Uh, if y'all remember the box of shells and coral, I found a goodwill for seven dollars and fifty cents. I've made three hundred dollars. Did lots of research. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. This is known as red pipe coral. Very, very light compared to all the other corals, you guys. I mean, it weighs nothing. Um, this piece here, uh, because of the color, and it's and, and it's known as the pipe organ coral, red pipe organ, this would sell, Jason, my piece here around $100. Nice. All right. Okay. So Becky says, sit at my mom's house where my brother lives now. It was a huge piece of uh, Mald Maldives coral, about two inches by 11 and a half inches and about a foot or more tall. Uh -huh. Still sitting downstairs in the fireplace, hearth value. Uh, would have to see it back, but yeah, I mean, I'm gonna show you some solds on eBay in a little bit, yeah. just decent sized ones. And, and nobody really had something gigantic, gigantic, decent sized pieces 100, 150, 200 bucks. People right. really want this coral, especially now because you you get caught going to take it out of the ocean. Yeah, you'll be in some serious trouble. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, everybody, this here. In, in the staghorn coral family. Oh, two feet. Becky wrote inches. Two feet. Oh, two, yes. Two. If you're two foot by a foot by almost a foot, heck yeah. Go back. Heck yeah. But uh, let's see a picture when you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. Uh, the stag, this hair piece, guys, right? Uh, in our area, corals go for like 20, this would go for 25 to $30. If you buy coral down in Florida, it probably would be double in price. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, any of the seashell stores, they really tack on the, the money there. So there's that one. Now, I'm going to show you this, Jason, because I found this one yesterday. 
You thrifted coral yesterday? Yeah, I did. <laughs> we went out and we were so hoping to find coral yesterday and we didn't. I'm like, dang, that'd been we awesome. Were, you did. We're in Middlefield at the Amish Antique Mall. And the lady, one, the lady that owned the booth that we were looking at, she says, I'll give you a great deal on anything that's in that booth. And of course, your dad sees the coral and goes right for it. This is bowl coral. Wow. Like a bowl. Pretty good size, Jace. The original ticket on it was $45. She says, uh, and dad says, what's your best price on this? She says, you can have it for $15. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's some easy haggling. Yeah. Here, yeah. Here's yeah. 30 bucks off without much work. Yeah. So, you know, and, and we don't have one like quite like this, Jason. So, of course, we're staying in the house, you know, not going too far. Now. I'm so, uh, uh, Linda said, is the pipe organ coral really delicate since it's so light? Uh-huh. Well, no, it's not that delicate. It really isn't. Um, you know, I mean, I, I, of course, I would wrap it in. Uh, you can even see the little holes in the in this thing. Uh, I mean, I would if I was to sell this, I would just you know put a lot of bubble around it, and it should be fine. It's not that delicate. Okay. So yeah. Alicia says, uh, "Be careful! You can buy fake coral commonly at Max's or Marshall's. Not that it's fake coral. I mean, it is, but uh, yeah. it, you know, it's made out of uh, a light concrete. But you can tell yeah. if you've ever held real coral and you've held held fake coral." You can yeah. definitely tell the difference. Right. Okay. This little piece here is known as maize coral, just because it looks like you're going through a maze. And I've seen all kinds of sizes of, of, of this particular one, Jace. Uh, this is a smaller piece. This would probably sell between 15 and 20 bucks. Maize coral, everybody. Okay. All right. I got two of the same thing here, and they're both brown stem coral. Jason, you probably have some of this. Okay, and this here is you. If you can see in there, guys, you can kind of see. Can you see the brown? It, yeah, deep down oh, inside. Yeah. yeah, it's the brown stem coral. Um, this is a pretty good size piece here. This is the same thing, a little bit smaller. But you'll notice even the you know Jason that the uh, the the um, what am I, the stems are different, a little bit different in design. Oh yeah. Yeah, but they are both brown stem coral. And this piece here would probably be close to seventy five hundred bucks. And this one probably 35 to 40 because it's a little bit smaller. Okay. Now, my next piece is really, I really like this one, Jace. And I was having a hard time coming up with the, the, the exact name of it, but we think this one is called Mapping Elkhorn Coral. And this comes from Abaco in the Bahamas. Very now, different. Where'd you find that? We at an estate sale. This came at an estate sale. I did pay ten dollars for this, but if I was to sell it, between seventy-five and a hundred bucks, everybody. So it's kind of unique. I, I really kind of like that one, don't you, Jay? Just See, the problem with mom and I, and the reason we have so much, because it fits our decor, so we never sell any of the coral we find. <laughs> no, it's hard. <laughs> hard to let go. It really, really is. Yeah. And, and and you know, guys, with the way it's going with coral, the prices are only going to go up. Because you're not going to be able to, you know, you can't take it out of the ocean, of course. And plus, you know, the availability of it anymore is, is getting tougher and tougher to find. So this is a, a unique piece. This is stony coral, Jace. And this one, this piece here would probably sell for around $45 and up. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go over here. All right. This is this comes from it's Regina Andrew Caribbean Coral. That that's the name of this baby. And this this particular piece, Jason, around ninety dollars. Wow. Yeah, I know. Isn't that something? So oh. See, as you can see, that piece isn't that big, and so no. you wouldn't be like, yeah, there's a hundred dollar bill sitting there, but it is. Your dad was having a lot of fun helping mom look up everything because you know dad loves coral. And uh, he, he was having a, a blast. He, he really was doing good. Now, I brought these in because we were, uh, it's not really coral, but they're barnacles. Yeah. So it is not coral, but when people list them, and I'll show you in a minute on eBay, yeah. there isn't a real section for barnacle clumps like this. And so they tend to, people tend to sell them under the coral header. Yeah. So no one's going to bust your chops. It's not like you're trying right. to right. keyword spam, but yeah. don't put coral in your title. But those are barnacles and, uh, those those bring good money too. Yeah, yeah. This clump here around maybe thirty to forty bucks on this clump. Okay, now mom's gonna go to her two big pieces. Okay. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself, mom. Please. No, 
I won't. Okay. This one Under is the sea. This one is known. Oh boy, this is big, guys. Let me see here. Yeah, the next one's even worse. <laughs> as tabletop coral. And as you can see why, it looks like a tabletop. Okay. Ooh. So look at that. Can you see the, the front pretty much? Okay. And th this piece is a pretty good size piece. You guys are probably looking at around 200 bucks or better. Uh, oh, yeah. If I was to sell this. Okay. Uh, but it's a beauty. But the next one probably would bring even bigger money. Where'd you get that big piece, Ma? Do you remember? Yes, I do. Uh, the, the gal that used to be at the Hartville Flea Market had her little booth, remember? I, oh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I got this piece and the next piece, both from her. And she's the one that had the large piece of blue that I passed up. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. Now. Oh, my God. I can barely pick this up. This one is so heavy. <laughs> okay. Oh, Lordy. Okay, dokie. I, I really am not sure, Jason, what family this is in. Oh, that's a heck of a one. I know. I mean, it's huge. Um, a piece. We didn't break it, but there are, there used to be a piece here. You can see where it broke off. But it, it, it must weigh 20, 30 pounds. It is very, very heavy. And this is probably about a $300 piece, maybe more. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. So, you know, so there's my biggies. All there's right. Okay. So Leanne says, where do you store all your coral? Throughout the house. Throughout the house. Yep. It's all it's all over. Fits in with the decor, depending if it's in the bar or wherever. So, you know. Okay. What do you got, baby? All right. Well, I'm going to show the... Um, so some of the solds, like, I mean, right away, here's that pipe uh, organ coral uh -huh. like mom has. Uh, this piece is bigger, but it's not huge because that's just a regular old water bottle sitting next to it. Yeah. Uh, but decent size. So there's there's a human being holding it. 300 bucks now the condition is new well that's bullshit <laughs> that's what they said new yes it, it's never new what yeah, what <laughs> yeah, that's funny i'm sorry uh, i'm cleaning up so i can get my hall ready so I all just right so look uh this is n they didn't even go for any specific type large peach piece natural ocean reef sea coral white aquarium five and a half pounds and they got 200 bucks they didn't even figure out what type of coral it was and they yeah. still got 200 dollars uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, it's uh, 13 inches long by 11 inches by seven inches so again a decent sized piece but not you know not ridiculous no not totally they got 200 bucks for that well maybe i better raise my prices online <laughs> uh and here's another piece uh, sold for 185. At least they marked this one as used. Okay. <laughs> Can't believe they would say it new. How can they call it new? Now this snowflake branch coral. I mean, it's amazing. Ooh. Oh, Jason, that's a nice piece. That's a real nice piece, everybody. Yeah, I don't know why the shipping was so high. You'd have to ask that seller, Ruth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Uh that was that was 250. Yeah. Uh natural genuine CUP coral home beach. Hmm. It looks like a bunch of uh, potato chips stacked on top of each other. I was 200 yeah. bucks. New. What is that new? Oh, that looks pretty cool. You know? All right, so that's like the table coral mom just showed us. Yes, yeah, so how much did you for? 175 bucks. Okay. Okie dokies. Uh, so, uh, I'll show you the second swoop. Uh, most of it isn't fragile, but one I got, uh, is very fragile. Every time we move it, we lose a piece. <laughs> <laughs> we try not to move it too often. Uh, here's white lettuce coral, which Ooh, that's nice. I think that's what I have here. Yeah. That's sold for one eighty five. Now here's a nice big barnacle chunk, you know, a little mm -hmm. bit small, a little bit bigger than what you had, but yeah. Yeah. So I guess I should probably raise the price on mine if I was going to sell it. Yeah. 200 yeah. bucks. Yeah. And again, they have new. New. <laughs> Liars. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, this hunk of purple core coral. And uh, this must be really rare because this is only three and a quarter inch by four and a half. It ain't a big piece. Right. And right. 200 bucks. Nice. So there's that bowl uh, coral. Now, now, a couple things. This white on white's tough. You should definitely have a darker background for this coral. Yeah. And they never show it other than this angle. 
Show oh. it to me, you know, like you're holding the bowl so yeah. I can see how high the walls are. For sure. This is a great shot, but it can't be your only angle. All right. Now look at this brain coral, that little like bloop bloop on the end there. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, see, I see Elisa's note. She says, my big piece was pillar coral. Thank you, Lisa. Appreciate that, honey. I was, I was looking up to see what the most expensive pillar coral that sold was. Yeah. I'll look that up in a second. Uh, but this is a cool uh, uh, brain that sold for one forty nine. dollars uh, Large real coral with cat-like face. Okay, they didn't even go... <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. They didn't go for the technical term, the common term, cat-like face. Now, where in the world do you see a cat? Uh, no, I don't. Does do anybody? See a cat? Do you see a cat? Do you see what's happening here? What Why? is? It? <laughs> <laughs> now, this is a big badass piece of coral, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's but they still got uh, good money for it. One hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah. It's a nice size. <laughs> Real nice size. Cat-like. All right. So there's some blue uh, tabletop coral. Ooh, nice. Very nice. nice. That piece is. Yeah. 145 bucks. Now, I, I sent this to my admins and I show my wife. I go, why would you take your picture on your stairwell? <laughs> no way. Stacy goes, well, maybe they're trying to get the under the sea feel. <laughs> yeah, maybe with the turquoise. That could be. Yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, a sea fan, which is also considered coral. It would be really tricky to ship this. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, um, you know, that, that thin styrofoam that you could wrap stuff up with. Yeah. Flat between two pieces of cardboard and then do the uh, pool noodles around the edges of the cardboard before you stick it in a box. So it still kind of floats in the middle there. What kind of shipping did they put on that, Jason? Because that's uh, only 20 bucks economy. Yeah. It's not, it's big. Yeah. So it's 23 inch by 29, then you got to pack it and it right. weighs nothing. So yeah, the weight right. won't be an issue, but look, a hundred bucks. Yeah, I know. 100 bucks. And uh, here's a piece of brain curl. I want to show this one because look how small it is. I mean, that's a dollar bill. Yeah. I mean, that's like a grapefruit and they got 85 bucks for it. So uh, I hope this opens your eyes to the things that are out there. Right. Let me into it. Okay. So uh, I've got some smaller pieces. Now, I only remember where we bought one because it still has a price tag. <laughs> <laughs> and then a really small one. Oh, yeah, that's a nice piece. I like that kind. And then this is the piece that we tend to break a chunk off every time. So based on the fragility of this, I'm guessing you could get a premium Ooh. if you can get it to the customer. Yeah. Wow, Jason, that's neat. I don't have any one like that, honey. That's cool. Let me put that away. There you go. And then uh, I think you showed a much bigger one of this. Oh, yeah. The mushroom or the button. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a small one. Uh -huh. now, here's my brain coral. So as you can see, mine's actually about the size of a, a good-sized brain. Yeah, to that one with a dollar bill. And when you walk into my house, there was a tiki set in there. And then we thrifted this brain curl. I'm walking around trying to figure out where it goes. And the top of the tiki is flat. And it's the exact size <laughs> of the top of the tiki. So the brain coral sits on top of the tiki. Nice. All right. Now, remember I said bleaching. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Typically, you got to bleach this to get it to be a nice white color. Uh, for, for example, bam, look at that sucker. Yep, that's a beauty. Now, see how it's on the browner side. If I soak that in a tub of water and bleach, uh, it would make it white and bright. I kind of like the uh, original color of this one. Yeah, since the coral is white. Yeah. Uh, but man, this sucker, mm. it weighs a ton. That's so a again, this would be probably a couple hundred bucks based on the size and the weight. Right. You know, at, at uh, <clears throat> the estate sales that I have uh, bought my um, coral from, it's never priced very high, Jason. Mm -mm. I've, I've noticed at estate sales, everybody. So if you do run across it, oh, nice piece. Oh, that's the maize coral, Jason. That's the maize. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and again, this could be a little whiter, uh, uh, but, you know, I'm just leaving it as is. Yeah. And then my two big boys. 
My two mamma jammas. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. <sighs> Holy crap. I know. They're heavy, aren't they? I never, I never picked one up to just like, look at this. Yeah. Oh, that's a beauty. Look at the size of that. Yeah, that's a beauty. Yeah. And, and you know, I would never pay a, a ton of money. So I can't imagine I paid more than like 25, 30 bucks for this. Right. And then my best one, because I got it at uh, Goodwill, and I still got my Goodwill tag on it, and I catch a lot of grief from non-thrifting friends. Like, why is this tag still on? Because I want to show it off. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Jason, I love that piece. Oh. All right, so there's my – where's my tag? Is that like is that the lettuce, Carl? Yeah. Yeah. How much? 1999. Oh, my goodness. What a steal. So that was at Goodwill, mm -hmm. and based on this size, I would say this is around three hundred dollars. Yeah, easily, easily. That's yep. cool. I like that piece a lot. Yeah, look, look down in there; it's pretty bitching. Yeah, yeah that really is. Okay, so just between Mom in Cleveland and me in Las Vegas, neither one of those locations being anywhere near the ocean. Right. <laughs> look how much coral, kick-ass coral, I might add, yep. that we have found. Uh, just sitting around antique stores, thrift stores. But look, it's truly, for the most part, based on size. Yes. So if you walk into an antique store and see this for like 50 bucks, this is like $250, $300. Right. Because you just don't find pieces like this. But we have, and they're out there to be found. So uh, I hope that as things open back up and y'all get out there and look around, you'll start to now notice coral because we talked about it. Right. I mean, it's, it's there, you guys. Um, you know, I know, I know we see a lot of seashells <clears throat> as well, but uh, watch for the coral. You'd be surprised how many uh, estate sales mainly that's where I've seen more coral than anything, Jason, is at estate sales, you know, seashells almost everywhere, but yeah. Yep. So uh, let us know if you do find some. Yes. I know Lisa said she picked some up on Friday. She is not where the coral is. I said, oh, can you send me a quick picture? So, <laughs> Elisa, when you get back to your coral, uh, pop a picture in the thrifting board uh, and uh, we'll uh, check it out. Yeah, I'd love to see them. Love love to see them. If anybody else has got anything out there, show, show us what you got, you guys. We'd love to see them. Now, maybe someday I'll buy enough that I don't have any more room and I'll start to sell some of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know because we, in fact, you know, the bull coral that we just got in, in Amish country. I mean, I'm walking around saying, where am I going to put all this? <laughs> it's getting there. It's getting to, get to that point. <laughs> yep. All right. So uh, if you, again, if you haven't watched a seashell episode, remember it was a different time, a different service. It is not as good as a quality as StreamYard. And I don't think my internet connection was all that good back then either, but there's still tons of good content in there for you. So uh, check it out. Sure. All right. Let's do a little housekeeping here, and then we'll get into mom's scores of the week. Right. Actually, upcoming. Sh yeah, we'll go housekeeping. Okay, Secret Beachcombers, Tuesday night, junk drawer electronics. Now, we all have junk drawers, all of us. And there are things, plenty of things in our junk drawer that isn't electronics, but if you've been buying cell phones for the last 20 years and iPods and iPads and GPSs and anything else, where's the ones you don't use anymore? Are they jammed in a drawer? I'm going to guess we all have money sitting in our junk drawers that we haven't seen in forever. Now, I pulled out my two main junk drawers to kind of start off the um, webinar on Tuesday. And in the first drawer, and of course, it was the one I knew where it'd be the most money, almost $500 worth of stuff in the junk drawer that I haven't touched in forever. So basically I have five $100 bills just sitting in a drawer waiting for me to turn it into money. That's crazy. Okay. So we're going to talk about what is in your drawers, what could be in your drawers and what it should sell for. Okay. So that's going to be Tuesday night, seven o'clock East coast, four o'clock on the West coast. All right, so it's going to be a, a weird week. No shows, either either one. So Thursday, I have a great sourcing opportunity. And as much as I love doing the show and seeing you all on Thursday nights, you cannot pass up an amazing uh, sourcing opportunity. And then once I get back from it, we'll definitely talk about it probably the following week on Thrifty Business. So no show on Thursday and no show on Easter. Yep. So, but we'll, we'll be back the following weeks. So right. enjoy uh, enjoy your family. Uh, uh, 
uh, if you can. And if not, just enjoy the day off. It's starting to get nice out in most places. It will be snowing in Cleveland, but other places it's very nice out. No, no, no. I checked, I checked our Easter Sunday forecast. It's going to be nice. It's actually going to be full sunshine and 61 degrees nice. on Easter. Now, it has snowed on Easter before. <laughs> so we will be back with Ridgey Business and um, selling past the expiration date the following week, but uh, nothing this week. And for, I mean, unfortunately, the source and opportunity is happening on Thursday. I, yeah. I didn't, I hate not having both shows in a week, but That's you got to do what you got to do. All right. And then each week we share cute and or embarrassing and or fun photos of us in our youth. And funny enough, I don't think I have it ready. <laughs> oh, you know, it's okay. No, so I downloaded them and never... Uh, never uh, put them in where you needed to put them? <laughs> I, uh, no, you know what? I think I opened them, but they opened on a different uh, tab. So... All right. Well, we'll catch it. Ah, that's where they went. You got them? Uh, every once, when you have three monitors, sometimes you're like, where'd they go? And for some reason on mom's computer, when I send photos to, uh, to Jason through Messenger, for some reason they're not going through. So something's happened that I pushed a button somewhere. <laughs> All <laughs> so, right. Okay. This is a four generations. Uh, of course, that's me. I'm a year old there. So that's 1944. And my mom holding me. Um, the uh, My grandmother to the left of me, as you're looking at the picture, is my mom's mom. And that was Grandma Apple, Jason. You know Grandma Apple, of course. Yep. And then her mom is the other, who was Grandma White, uh, the shorter little lady. And uh, she lived in um, Minnesota. So we, would, of course, would go visit her uh, very, very often. Um, and I, 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 I remember Grandma White a lot. She, <laughs> her thing to us little kids, as we got a little older, she would always go around and kind of pinch us on the butt and go, you know, one of those. <laughs> and we used to, we, whenever we got near her, we knew it was coming. So we had to make sure we weren't close enough. But uh, uh, yeah, so, you know, we just, I just thought you might be nice to see the, the four generations. The four generations. And yeah. happy birthday, Donna. Sorry, there's no show on Thursday. Uh, but go back and watch one of the ones you didn't see. And then, yeah. then you can pretend it's live. Oh, I know. It's really an April Fool's joke, right, Jason? There is going to be a show after all. Oh, yeah. The source <laughs> and opportunity I have, a lot of people thought it was an April Fool's joke. Yeah. But it's and not. so I know it's real, but if people want to think it's an April Fool's joke, I'll let them. Yeah. Because I'll be there. <laughs> all right. Uh, and for this week's Mama's Boy... It's not so much about me, but it's so more so about what's behind me. So here I am on Easter morning finding my uh, Easter basket. And so I first off, I have a question. Why, why is the vacuum out on Easter morning while we're trying to find baskets? Well, <laughs> I don't know. But that, <laughs> you know, the, the bar was kind of the catch-all room unless we were having company. So I, I think I just threw it in there. <laughs> and what a great shot. There's still an egg hidden on this chair. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> but look at all the, uh, it's a little, a little blurry, but those are all old Coca-Cola trays behind me on the wall. Yeah. I had one hell of a collection uh, back in the day. You guys um, wish I would have hung on to them just a little longer. Um, you know, it was selling on eBay at the time would be really great because uh, I had some very early ones and um, I had one of the earliest ones I have never seen anywhere else that I paid $15 for. It was my very first Coke tray. And um, it was uh, an early uh, lady uh, circular. And uh, probably today it might be worth over a thousand dollars. I sold it for a few hundred back in the day, but you know, it's only appreciated in time. So yeah, so you can see that now the table and chairs there is an old fashioned ice cream uh, tape parlor, ice cream parlor table and chairs. Uh, that I had. I was into antiques quite a bit. Um, so that was always a cute set. And I've actually sold that to my girlfriend. And um, then there's an old telephone on the wall above, yeah, by, to, to the right of Jason's head um, that actually your dad made work, Jason. I don't know if I told you that. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah. I, I, I used it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was actually we made it work. So that was that was kind of fun. At the time, I, uh, I probably owned around 40 Coca Cola Trace at the time that I was collecting. So, you know, if you find them and you find them cheap enough, guys, you can still get good money on the Coke trace. The originals, watch out for the, you gotta really be careful because I know what are old ones and real, but the reproductions are out there. So be careful, you know? I mean, you can tell that there's, they, they're, they're, not, they're not as heavy. They're made of flimsy material. They're real shiny and clear. The old ones, of course, are not by, by any means of today's times. Sometimes you'll find one that's in excellent condition, but 
most of the time not. So be, just be careful on your Coke stuff. All right. So we want y'all to smash that like button. So give the Ooh. coral a big thumbs up. Give my super boring pajamas. Okay. <laughs> I'm never boring. You're never boring. Why the hell did I have such boring pajamas? Those I don't know because most of the time I had you in a lot of color. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what in the, what is that boring pajamas? Ooh. But it's funny when you sent it earlier, I didn't know that there was an egg still hiding. That's a I great photo. Oh, well, Jason, that other tin there, right below the phone, that Carling's a uh, black, uh, uh, Carling's a black ale. Yeah, right here. Yeah, it's only half of the picture showing. Uh, if you ever find those guys, it's a, it's a tin, usually backed with cardboard, and uh, those will bring you good money. I think those are worth around 100, 100 and a quarter right now. So, uh, my birthday was December thirtieth, nineteen seventy. Yeah. So right before seventy one, and where? Uh, Oh, uh, Treasure Finds wants to know where Grandma White lived in Minnesota. Uh, um, um, uh, Wasika. Wasika. Does that ring a bell at all with you, Treasure? Uh, and then someone, I can't find it. Uh, Debbie uh, has sent it to me. Uh, we used to take the train to go and visit her, Jace. Uh, Judy Esposito said, uh, Shell Show was great, and I used what Peg taught us. Oh, we like to hear Thanks, that, everybody. Yeah, you, uh, you know, it's the whole point of uh, my groups, my shows. Yep, yep. is to show you things that aren't in your normal uh, viewpoint to uh, go hunt out and then make money on. Because yes, if yes. you're not, if you don't go to, if you ever, if you never go to the ocean, coral is not in your in your viewfinder ever, really. Yeah. Uh, if, and I spent every uh, spring break in Florida at my grandparents' place on the Gulf side where there is shelling, and so. That's always, you know, since I was a little kid. Yeah. You know, I, at, at uh, seven, I would read the tide charts and I would get up. What seven year old wants to get up at 4 a.m. to go shelling? But right. hey, if that's when the low tide is, you got to go when the low tide's there. Oh, yeah. We do hit the low tides. Then we go out late at night at the low tide. You know, 10, 11 o'clock, we're dragging our little kids out to go shelling in the dark, which <laughs> our flashlights. <laughs> it was fun, though. It was a, it, probably one of the best times of our life, Jason. Was all the shelling we did together? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Really? What is this? You sold something on Macari? What is going? What, 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 what is happening? Who, <laughs> who are you? Where's my mother? You're I selling know. things on other platforms? Yeah. I was so excited, you know, when I got the offer. I had it listed for thirty-five. I think that's what it says, or forty-five. But I took the best offer of thirty-one because I've had this purse for three years, Jason. <laughs> And when I saw the offer come through, I thought, oh, I'm taking that baby. And uh, yeah, originally I paid, let me see, I, have a, I only paid three bucks for it. So I still made some halfway decent money, you know. So, so Lisa yeah. has never heard of Shellen. <clears throat> and because Ooh. you said that, Lisa, I never thought of people, be, because I grew up doing it, I never thought of people, mm -hmm. you know, if you live in Nebraska and never visited a place where there's shells, you would never even think of that. So yeah, um, you know, some of it was low tide finding live shells. And then some of it was sitting on Sanibel picking through the mountains of shells that wash up uh, on the shore. And so uh, that's shelling. And, you you know, kind of like when you collect anything, when you collect tiki stuff, you just buy whatever, and then you start to understand what's good and what's not so good, what's common. Same with shelling. Oh, king's crowns are a dime a dozen, but, you know, yeah. this tulip, woo big money. So, right. you know, like with anything, you, you start to learn, and that's why we did the shell show and the coral show because – that just ingrained in our in our DNA, Mom and I. And uh, right. for those of you who never been to the ocean, maybe or the beach, yeah. But you'll see it because it travels. Like, look, we don't live anywhere near the ocean. Mom right. and I find coral all the time, all the time. Maybe it's there. It, it just keep your eyes yep. now. Now that you've seen it, this yep. will give you something to look for. That's for sure. Okay, these are spaghetti uh, drizzle glasses. Everyone, uh, I bought the, the four of those for three bucks, and I took a best offer of thirty dollars. That was, that was a nice set. Yeah, that was a very nice set. I really like that set. Okay. And this is a uh, vintage. Uh, where did I go? Because you skipped one. Oh, no, there it is. Vintage um, uh, uh, California, USA. I skipped one? No, no, you did. It was me. California, USA, Lazy Susan that I paid $3 for and took a best offer of $35. Nice. Yeah. It was, it, your dad packed that really well. Well, these, these didn't take long to sell. I think I showed these just a couple of weeks ago. These are the Nick and Nora pajamas, everybody, with the monkey on them. And uh, I bought those for $2.50, and I sold them for the $22.95. So that went quick. You know, sometimes they go quick. We never know, do we, gang? That's for sure. Oops, 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 oops. 
Yeah, I just showed that not too long ago, uh, Easter Bunny hat. I mean, that's all it does. I thought maybe the ears might flip or something, but that's just the way it is. And uh, uh, let's see, what did I pay for that hat? The hat I paid 50 cents for and sold it for the full price of the fourteen ninety nine. So nice. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Okay. The, yeah. This. I thought we we would do well on this. Everybody. This was that uh, the vintage F uh, Fire King um, deviled egg pl uh, plate. The I see a lot of white ones for sale. It was the blue that I knew would probably bring us bigger money. And I originally paid three dollars for that and did sell it for the full price of twenty nine ninety nine. So the, the white ones are there. If you if you see the white ones. And they're cheap enough, I would say maybe pick it up, not more than a couple bucks. But um, this is the one that will bring you a little bit more money. Okay, this I have had forever, Jay. I'm, I don't even know how old this is. This is from A Christmas Story, the movie A Christmas Story, which the house is located right here in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, and it's it was the apron, and it came in the tin and the little booklet. I thought this would sell right away. I, I think it's probably three or four years old. Wow. And, yeah, I mean, I've had forever. I paid uh, for the tin. I paid three dollars, but I did sell it for the thirty-five dollars. Finally, now in, in the middle of March. Well, yeah. I mean, go figure, huh, everybody? It's just insane because it, it, it's four or five years old. I think I've had it in the store at, at least. <laughs> okay. All right. This I just showed you not too long ago. This was a Paradise Found uh, Hawaiian shirt, but featuring wine and wine glasses and grapes. Well, somebody wanted that. Now, see. In my mind, I'm thinking that's the last one that'll sell. And here we <laughs> I know. I mean, you never know what somebody's looking for. I paid uh, $2 for that shirt, guys, and took the best offer of 25 Nice job. Yeah. And here's some vintage uh, Mickey Mouse uh, sheets. Uh, they were the uh, twin. And I did pay 2 bucks for those and took the best offer of $30 on those. They're pretty vite and vibrant still. Yeah, they were in good shape. I thought I, yeah. it, it was. I bought these from the lady that I bought that wooden playpen from back quite a while ago. Uh, this was a, a Euclid Beach Park, which was an amusement park here in Cleveland, Ohio, back in the day. I went there many, many times as a youngster. Um, you just really, really enjoyed it. And uh, I bought the book at a garage sale for a quarter, and I did sell it for the uh, full asking price of twenty four ninety nine. You know what's nice about that, Jason? And, I, and I'm. They had a, a time card in there and some tickets. See those? Oh, That's yeah. Cool. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. You know, good, good, good so selling. When you have the extras, that should always be in your first picture. Yeah, you're right. It should have been. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Always show everything you got. Yeah. Because if people are, are, are shopping by picture and you're the only one with the extras, if you don't have in your first picture, they yeah, won't the, know. They're not going to pay attention to the title. They're scrolling. They're they're shopping with their eyes. Right. Exactly. And they see seven books uh, with no pit with of those, and then yours had those. That's what they'll click on. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely, should have been. Now, I I I think I've preached constantly about fiber optic uh, things. I can't keep them on my shelf, you guys. I wish I had more. Um, I did do a video on this. And um, it was a fiber optic bunny. I, I didn't even get a chance to show this in the hall, Jason, because it was, you know, I sold it so fast. Um, but nice. yeah, look at that in the dark and everything in the dark. So I, I originally had paid a whole dollar for this at a garage sale, and uh, it's been here for quite a while. And I just happened to come across it in one of my tubs. I said, Oh, I got to get this up, and it sold for full price of $29.99. Congrats, that is the best video you've ever done. Oh, well, thanks. You come in a little bit. Oh, hi, Stephanie. Yeah. You come yeah. in a little bit. You got it in a fully dark room. Well done. Good. You know where where I had to go? In the bathroom. I saw. I could, I could tell yeah. it was the bathroom. In the bathroom. Because I said, I got to get it dark so this, this will yes, show. Yes, mom's got those hashtag selling skills. All right. <laughs> Before we get to the last uh, thing here, yeah, let's have a little uh, frank and honest talk. I am so tired, beyond tired, of seeing across Facebook that eBay's dead and online selling's dead and this platform's dead. <laughs> and, and then people jumping in and going, you're right. <laughs> it isn't. But if you ain't selling the right products at the right prices on the right platforms, it could be dead for you. But in the secret beach, I've been keeping track of my sales. So last year, I had the best year of my life uh, online selling in 21 years. And so my goal, and since it was my best year ever, 
I wanted a modest goal to increase it this year, but not one that I couldn't obtain, but one that wouldn't be, I thought, too easy. And so my goal was, let's kick up last year another 10%. So January, I did 24% up. February, I slipped a little bit. I was 18% up. And right now, with three days ago, I am 40% above last March. <laughs> Fantastic. That's so really it can absolutely be done. But guess what? I am not selling anything we haven't taught y'all. Yeah. Everything I'm selling, there ain't no magic. There ain't no mystery. So if you take my courses, if you watch the free shows, if you join the Secret Beach, all these things that I have taught are the things I sell. And I'm doing bonkers sales right now. Like, I want to slow down so we can start out April with a bang. And I just keep selling and selling and selling and selling. So please don't be anywhere where that negativity is. Yeah. And if you if you are there and feel you must jump in, the question should always be, what are you selling? For how much? Do you offer returns? Do you offer free shipping? All the things that can make it better. If someone's selling the same crap they were selling 20 years ago that wasn't selling all that great 20 years ago, and now it's 20 years later, that's a problem. Oh, yeah. But look, mom sold on Macari, and the reason I want to stop and get on my soapbox right here is because we're about to blow your minds. We're about <laughs> to blow your minds because my mom listened and learned very well from the things I've taught, and you're all going to be like, all right, make sure when you where you're sitting or standing right now, if you fall over, you don't hurt yourself, okay? Because well, we're listen, about to blow your mind. Uh, I, I'll just a preview. We we I showed this in the hall last week. Uh, well, not in the hall. This was in in the show where Jason was helping yep. me my records and my cassettes and CDs and things, and helping me along. And he said, "Oh, let's put that one aside, and we'll come back to that one." Well, we came back to it, and he kind of gave me information on what I should do. So I remember that was in that whole bunch of stuff, everybody that I bought for five bucks. Yeah. So, so she paid a, like a nickel an item. Yeah. Yeah. Less than her quarter. Yes. Less than. And yes. Quarter. Negativity can equal failure. If you've got time enough to bitch, you got time enough to list. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, All right. Are you ready? Do, da, da, da. If mom can add a kick ass video to a listing, you can too. If mom can go source media, you can too. Actually, you know what? I'm going to. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna I'm gonna okay. give a little pre prep here. Hold right. okay. okay, so this, if you remember from last week, was the thing I said. Keep to the end. Now, yeah. if you watch last week, who remembers what I told her it was worth? Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if there's any. Oh, thanks, Swoop. Swoop sounds three bucks. <laughs> thanks. All right, who remembers what I told her this was worth last week? Anybody? Anybody? Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can. Oh, look at that. Tina's 12.5% 12, 12 over last month and a 91, 191% over last year right now. You haven't done the year to date. I just wanted to follow my months. Yeah. Okay. We got, uh, yeah, we got some good, good. good okay. Good. So apparently none of you watched last week. 30, no, no, no. No, there's a couple. There's a couple there. I know. But 3,900. What's going on? <laughs> I really thought we would get a consensus, but 30 and 900. <laughs> okay. Yes, 200 is where I told her to put it because we were shooting for a 150 at the high end, but what it looked like it was selling was a hundred and a quarter. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I would love 900, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I... Yes, yes, uh, Marco, 1475, absolutely. <laughs> All right, so I told her to put it up for 200 and, and you know, shoot for 150, but take no less than a hundred and a quarter. Well, shit, she just sold it for 200. <laughs> <laughs> You Just know, like that. It was up for about two days, gang. Um, you know, I listed it and went on my way. And all of a sudden I get the, you know, not, not even an offer, you know, I mean, which I would have taken because, you know, what my instructor told me to do. And uh, just boom, outright bought it uh, as is at the one ninety nine ninety nine. So uh, that was, that. thank you. Thank you, Aaron. That was really uh, a good sale. I'm, now, I'm, here's the deal. When, anytime I give you a suggested price, whether it be for music or Tiki Mug or whatever, I'm always going to tell you how I price my things. My, I price my things at least 20% above the going rate. And if it's something that there isn't one of right now, I'm going to put it up there. And like I said, let's throw it up for 200. We shoot for 150, but we take no less than one and a quarter because one and a quarter is where it always sells. Yeah. 
Yeah. And so I'm realistic. But if you just throw it up for where it always sells, you would have left $75 on the table. Now, does it mean it's worth 200? Not really. But it means that someone needed it, couldn't find any other ones or any other brand new sealed ones. Right. And jumped on it because it is a rare piece. It is not a piece that everyone wants, uh, but boom, 200 bucks. And how long, how long was it listed? Two days at the most. Yeah. Um, and it went to California, Jason, not even around here. Yeah. Yeah. Someone, someone in California mm -hmm. needed the Cleveland Orchestra. Yep. Isn't that crazy, everybody? I know. So, look, if you haven't started flipping media yet and you're watching both of these shows, what are you waiting for? I don't even, I can't even fathom what you're waiting for at this point. All the scores I share, mom shares, there's so much money in media. And although this is a bigger box set, once you learn how to ship one CD, they all ship the exact same way. So right. if we're shipping this coral, holy crap, it's going to be a lot of packing right. and thinking and, and materials and time involved. This takes 10 seconds to ship. 10 seconds. Yeah. Well, thank you for all the uh, congratulations, everybody. That's so nice. That's that a thought, Jazz. Like, I wonder if they knew someone on it. Like, is someone like, oh, my, my grandfather was first trumpet or something. Yeah, maybe. You know, yeah, who knows? I like that idea, Janet. There's yeah. something I never I never thought of. Right. Right. Okay, dokie. All right. So good job, Mom. Yay! $200 CD box set. You are oh, now a believer for sure if you weren't before. I know that was uh, that was my that's my best one ever. <laughs> All right. Yeah, mom's up in my realm now. Two hundred dollar box sets. Hell yeah! <laughs> Good job. But see, it can be done. The stuff's out there. Yes. The sales can be made. Mom and dad sales are doing good. Mine are crushing it. I saw Tina's was crushing it. So you can do it. Right. Don't spend so much time on Facebook whining and crying or listen to others whining and cry, spend that time sourcing, spend that time listening, and spend that time moving your stuff to other platforms like Macari because yep. all the customers are not on eBay and all the customers are not on Etsy and all the customers are not on Macari. So you got to sometimes go find your customers. You don't know where they're at all the time. Right. That's for sure. I should do more. I mean, I've done some, but not, not enough. And that's something mommy but Once it happens, once it strikes, you're like, oh, I got to do more. It, it worked. Oh, I see that. Right. Exactly. Okay. You ready for a little bit of haul business? What'd you find? Oops, I don't need to be big. What'd That's you fine. find this week, Ma? All right. Well, I think some of us might remember what, uh, what these are all about. Fondue. All right. This is new in the box. Here's the box. Okay. And still in the box is the sterno and two sterno cans. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if they're any good anymore because it's wow. so old. You know, but uh, the, the, because of the eight now in the, it's funny though, this particular set did not include the forks, which, you know, normally they do, but it does not include the forks, but this, I, oh, I paid uh, uh, two bucks for this guys. And I'm going to put this up for around $30, $40, somewhere in that vicinity. Okay. So there's your fondue. Okay. I picked this up, Jay. This is uh, a miniature. It's uh, Super Bowl 33. Uh, 1990, it says on here. Just one of those miniature footballs, but it was uh, it was marked five dollars. But this was the, the last day of the sale, so he said you can have it for a buck, and I should get around twenty five dollars on this little baby. Nice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right off of the Three's Company set. <laughs> oh, oh, guess what? Guess what, everybody? I think this would be a good place to tell. I finally sold my first thing to a production. Yay! Right. Yay. I've been doing this for 21 years. I've watched most of you sell your stuff to TV yep. shows and movies, and I never sold anything until this week. I sold a T-shirt to the original, uh, the last OG, the new show with Tracy Morgan, and they're going into season four. So uh, I will keep my – I've never watched a show before. We're going to catch up. And then as soon as I see the shirt I sold them, I'll share with you, but yay. Congratulations. I Finally. sold a shirt to a TV show. Finally. It only took 21 years. Yeah, well. Never and it wasn't like most of y'all. Most of y'all, the address says uh, clothing, uh, yeah, costume yeah, yeah. department. It, they didn't have an address that way. And the way it was addressed was kind of weird, but I'm like, what is this address? And then I realized it was a production company. It did say the last OG of yeah. the last OG. And so instead of going to the wardrobe department, it just went to some other department, but I'm like, yay, finally. So hopefully it makes it on air. Well, mom, mom's the only good one I have. Mom sold up uh, 
a, a dress that was pink and white that this gal used as a, a waitress in the movie. And, oh, God, she sent me all kinds of pictures and the movie and the whole nine yards. So that was exciting. When, when you sell one like that, it is it is exciting. Okay. The show is called The Last OG with Tracy Morgan, and I sold them a Santa Cruz skateboard T-shirt. There you go. Okay. All right. Look what mom found. <laughs> hurry! <laughs> hurry! I know. Well, I, I might have to keep this one. Hurry! <laughs> it's awfully cute. But I paid five bucks for them. I probably can get around $20, $25. If anybody in the chat needs this bunny, let me know. <laughs> but he's really Do you cute. you need my bunny? Yeah, he's really cute. But uh, melted popcorn seems to be popular because it's been selling, Jason. Hell I mean, yeah. Yeah, we've been selling all the pieces that, uh, that, that we uh, have put up. Okay. Oh, by the way, I just sold a $39 CD. See Woo! how easy it is? I know, piece of cake. All right, so look at this gorgeous glass set. Oh, damn, that's awesome. I know, isn't that great? I mean, it's got oh, the- Oh, that is spectacular. And the four turquoise. Now, it was marked eight fifty, but I got it on the last day, so it was four and a quarter. And I'm probably going to sell this, put it up for around 40 bucks, 45 bucks, guys, because, you know, especially when you have the carrying case, that adds to the value, you know, when you do find uh, the vintage uh, mid-century modern glasses, okay? Don't break them. I know. I'm very, very careful. Okay. All right. I picked this up for a dollar. Uh, I was a little hesitant because it is the, it's not the older one. It's the push button, but the color was cool. You know, it, it's kind of a, it's really, it doesn't, it's turquoise, Jason. I don't know if you can tell it or not, but it doesn't have, the, it's not a princess even though it's got the shape of the princess phone, it's not marked princess phones. Those are the ones you want to find is the ones that actually say princess on the bottom. But for a buck, I figured ah, I might get $20, $25 out of it. So I will uh, give Becky you. sourced her uh, Easter jewelry just last Wednesday, got out by Friday, and tomorrow most of it is being shipped. Good, Beck. Way to go. Yeah, Scott said uh, glasses for a gender reveal party. <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting the pink or the blue? I like that. Very clever. All right. So uh, Saturday, yes, Saturday, yeah, yes. On Saturday, we went out to a a, a a blip on the map called Parkman, Ohio. You know where I mean, Jace? Yep. Yeah. And um, I mean, if you, if you blink, you'll miss the town. You know, it's one of those. And, but they do have a nice antique mall out there that we have not been to in a while. So we started going through and I'm seeing these things and he's got all his uh, Hawaiian shirts scratched out in in 50 or less this is an early helo hattie it was the early label everybody the nice one and it has the welt pocket here jason too okay can you see that is it showing no maybe it's yep. not a little bit. okay and it's i mean it's nothing fancy but it was only four dollars you know he had eight bucks on it marked down to four so for a vintage helo hattie i don't know jason 25 30 bucks do you think honey yeah I mean, it's not the most exciting, but it is vintage. No, no, it's not. Now, this one is a Tory Richard, size medium. Okay. Here's the Tory label. But it must have been a uniform, Jace, because there's the, the writing. Can you see oh, that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is it Kauai Lagoons? Yes, Kauai Lagoons. And I'm not quite sure what the heck that thing is above. Looks like, I don't know, a swan or something. So, you know, it's got, you know, just a small print, but again, this was only $4. So, you know, it's hard to leave them on the rack when they're four bucks, you know? Okay. Then this was, this was, uh, this guy had all of his Hawaiian shirts scattered throughout this antique mall on mannequins, but the mannequins were always placed up high, you know, that you had to get a step ladder to get to them. I couldn't see the price. I couldn't see the label, you know? So I had to ask these people and they're, the old man was older than mommy, I think. And there he is up on this ladder trying to get these shirts off of the mannequins. So here's an early Tory Richard, Jace. Look at that label. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at this shirt, Jace. That's isn't funky. That, isn't that different? I mean, that's really different. And again, everybody, uh, I think it's got, yeah, it's got the welt pocket there, right there. Okay. And this, I'm, I'm jumping up. This one came up $7.50. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, yeah, being this uh, early uh, early Tory on this one, you guys, I'm going to try this around forty five bucks or so. Okay, then Becky, just, Becky said uh, Hartonville is alive and well. Is it? Oh, well, I guess we'll have to get out there. We'll have to. Are they going to be open this weekend for Easter? I wonder. Probably. Now, Jason, I did not know this label, and maybe you do. It's um, styled in California by J.C. Penny. Yeah, I've sold that one a couple of times. 
Okay, well, this is bark cloth, and it's just beautiful. Well, yeah, really, that's a nice piece. Yeah, this is actually. Kind of I might have that shirt. Really? Okay, but it's really, really quite lovely, and it's in gorgeous condition. Uh, the, the only bad part is it's on the smaller side. Um, but yeah, I will probably list this for around forty, forty-five dollars, everybody. But the coupe de gras, and I had to call my son because I wasn't quite sure on this one, because I've never found one before. Uh, I'll show the label first, Chase, because I know you've talked about this this label before. Okay, everybody, this is a Walter Clark. Uh, early, he's kind of, he's, did he start, was he before, um, what's the other guy? Um, you know, oh, help mom out. The other old name. Um, oh, shoot. Oh, my man, I can't think of it. <laughs> and no, and no, he's not. He's not. Okay, so he came after. Anyways, this dress <clears throat> was there, and it's quite lovely. I mean, can you see here? Let me zip this collar up here. Okay, so here's the neckline. Okay, kind of a kind of a Nehru neckline almost, Jace, you know. You've got the buttons down the front here. And it is a shorter dress. It's not long. It's got the back zipper. Oh, I, I forgot to tell you. I bet you that's one of them black light dresses. It could be. This could be so if you long. guys have a black light, you definitely got to take a shot of it in that bathroom with just the black light on. I don't have, I don't, I wonder if Buzz does. Maybe he does. Anyways, the price tag was $40. And I called my son, gee, do I spend 40 bucks for this dress? He said, yes. But I also got the 10% off, so we came down to $36. By the way, you were trying to think of Alfred Shaheen. I was, I was waiting yes. to see if one of the chat threw it in there, but no one did. Nobody did. That, that, that was the other name I would think. So Alfred came before Walter? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, because it wasn't your. So I don't know, Jason. Uh, what do you think? A hundred bucks? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. You know, Especially that... if it glows in the black light. Uh, so some of these vintage dresses and shirts glow in the black light. It was an accidental discovery by a friend of mine about mm, 10 years ago. Uh -huh. And since that has become a selling tool for everyone who sells these vintage uh, shirts and dresses, if it's one of the ones that glows, you got to take a picture of it uh, in the dark room, turn the black light on, and right. uh, see what uh, see what shows up. Uh, what size is the dress? The dress is, let me look. It is beautiful. Doesn't look real big, guys. And if let's see if, if it's even on here. Well, it says size 12, but don't forget this is older. Um, you know, probably well, it doesn't look too bad for a 12, actually. Got the cap sleeve. I mean, this is I wish I could fit into it, but you know, <laughs> mommy can't do that anymore. All right, I'm gonna end up with one more thing. Um we found these at the Streetsboro flea market. Uh, we stopped in there just to do a quick run through. And I happened to spot these. All right, let me get this. Ooh, heavy, heavy, heavy. Here we go with heavy. <laughs> oh, no, actually, you do have one more thing to show after this. Your father found it. Okay. We got oh, the wow. Spanish lady. These are Marwall by Crower, you guys. And they are stamped on the back. This is the gal. There's that. So I'll show her one more time. And Jason, they are in awfully good condition. You know, that was crazy. Yeah, you sign them with with the chips on, on them. And now here's the um, I guess he's a matador, huh? And he's heavy. He's quite heavy. But the face, look at the face, how the yep. condition is just gorgeous. And here he is. Uh and oh, these are dated 1966, by the way, everybody. So for the pair, Jace, mom paid 35 bucks for the pair. And I think I can get a hundred and a quarter out of these. So someone who's got the con uh the uh the bull and and Spanish stuff line of Wicco would love that. Oh yes, yes. See, this would fit right in with all of that. Right in with all of that. So, so there's that. And your father picked this up at that antique mall in Parkman. You know, he likes to pick up the brass and the bronze items. Okay. Speaking of shells, this is bronze, and this is it kind, wow. of, it kind of looks like a murex to mom. You know what I mean? Because it's got the oh yeah, the, definitely a murex. Yeah. So uh, he paid. He got a, he got a deal on this. I think he paid fourteen dollars for this. But all his research that he's found so far, Jason, these are one to two hundred dollars. And everything we've looked at, there's no name, there's no stamp, and there isn't a name or a stamp on a lot of the ones that we researched. So. You know, we're going to have to do probably a little more digging just to make sure. But, uh, you know, for the $14 investment, and if we can get it between 100 and 200 bucks, it'll be well worth it. Okay. And that's it, everybody.
Uh, Marcy wants to know if the heads are chalkware. Uh, yes, they are. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Scott Williams, no bull. <laughs> you guys, I love you guys. You're so Lisa good. says, it reminds me of the creepy caroler figures, piggy self. <laughs> creepy. <laughs> creepy. Those, those creepy carolers make me a lot of money. <laughs> For sure. All right. So okay. uh, give a big old thumbs up to uh, uh, Coral. Learn about Coral. Uh, Mom's kick ass two hundred dollars CD sale. Mom's Ooh. awesome haul of fun stuff. And uh, if you're new, welcome everybody. Yes. Uh, sure. Click the subscribe down here and click the bell. The bell lets you know when we're going live. Lets you know when I'm uploading other videos. And uh, make sure to come on over to the thrifting board if you've not joined before. And uh, we'll see you uh, back on Thirty Business one week from this Thursday. Yeah, and and our show two weeks from today. Yes, yes, our yes. show two weeks from today. So a week off, and then we'll be back with everybody. So good to see y'all. Have a wonderful evening. Have a great uh, Passover and Easter, and uh, welcome spring. Yes. Joe, did you just tune in? Because we're about to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think Joe's late. <laughs> so for selling past your expiration date, being thrifty over 50, I'm Jay. I'm Peg. Happy Easter, everybody. And we're gone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> oh, we're almost gone. Almost. And we're gone. Bye. <laughs>